Hi folks, I'm Anthony with Two Guys in a Ride, and today Rob and I are here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're, and we're here at the SEMA show, and we're here with none other than Von Hot Rod. How are you guys? Oh my gosh, Las Vegas, Nevada, SEMA yeah. show 2022. Yeah. We are back. It is the craziest event ever. It's Aren't you guys awesome. having a blast out We here? are having a blast. We've oh, been having a blast so since before the show started. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Gasoline forever. That's my bit. Gasoline forever. There you go. Yes. Now, uh, yes. let's, what, what, tell us what you do. Because you have a long history. You, you actually didn't start. In, yeah, well, in as I say, I'm a legend in my own mind. So that's how it is. <laughs> You're a legend in many minds. Uh, well, I don't know about that, but thank you for that. I just grew up in the industry. Dad's an ex-drag racer, sprint car driver, so yeah. kind of like was destined to go here. And they just built cars all my life, veered off into pinstriping, and I had a hot rod shop. Hot rod shop was one of the well-known hot rod shops in the industry. We built all kinds of cars, um, did all kinds of fun things. Do you remember um, that kind of scene in uh, Gone in 60 Seconds where the Mercury dries away and throws fire out of a tailpipe? Yeah. That was our kit. We used to make those flamethrower oh, really? kits. Yeah, to throw fire out of your tailpipes. Did that back in the 80s and 90s. Yes. Hell yeah. Got all kinds of warnings. Got all kinds of warnings by police. Hey, you can't be making those things. I go, it's just a suggested idea of what you can do with this. Right. Yeah. 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 So now you 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 sold your business. Yes, correct. Uh, and then how do you how did tell, there's a little story between how you actually the first time you realized that pinstriping might be something. Right. You, um, we, you know, going back to the hot rod shop, we were um, building cars and flipping cars. And I wanted to add a little touch to them. So I, I kind of like forced myself to learn how to pinstripe and just grab the can of paint because we sold it in the shop, grab the brush because we sold it in the shop. And I was actually practicing on my glass case on the showroom floor. A customer walks in and says, well, I didn't know how you knew how to pinstripe. And I said, of course I do. I stripe all the time. You know, not You're telling right, him, right. yeah. <laughs> so he goes, would you stripe my 50 Merc? I said, sure, absolutely. The catch is you have to leave it all day Saturday. He's all, that's not a problem. I go, don't show up early. You come at five o'clock and pick it up. I did a three color design on the trunk, on the hood and on the dash. And it literally took me from eight in the morning till 4.30 that day to do it. Cause I didn't know what I was doing. Your, your hand I literally did not. Oh, it words. was it was the funniest thing. I look back on it and I'm, I was thinking like, oh, how funny was that? I did a color, I forced it dry. Cause it takes a while for the paint to dry. Right. So I forced it dry. And the reason I did that is because when I laid the second color, if I mess up, I was able to wipe it off and leave, leave the, the first, first color. color. Yeah. So that's why I took all day. Never right. told the guy. It's, it, well, but it's interesting to hear that story because everyone starts at some place, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, now you're famous and, and you can do this stuff without thinking twice. Yeah. But you had a starting point like any other normal point. person. And it's, I teach a lot of classes on how to pinstripe. I speak at universities and high schools. And I always get the question of how do I get into the industry? How do I break in? How much money am, am I going to make? Right. And I go, you got to understand, it's a passion and a drive. I can teach you the secrets. That's easy. But if you don't have the passion or the drive to do this, whatever you pick, you'll never do it. You'll always chase the dollar. You got to be willing to work 15 hour days for two hours of pay. Right. And you know, that, that might be months on end before your dream comes true. There's many times that we, uh, I dug into my savings many times because the business was hurting for money or it was slow. But again, it was my dream. This is what I wanted to do. And you know, like I always say, the, the money will come, but it, it's your passion and your drive of how hard you want to work, how bad do you want, do you want this dream to come true? And it will come. We live in America, the greatest earth, you know, the greatest this country, country on the earth. earth. Yep. Yeah. And you can pretty much do anything as long as you don't harm somebody. You can have a blast and do it. Again, it's got to be the passion and drive in you. I always say there's petrol running in my veins. Veins. Yeah. There you go. Now, um, it, it, you also have an incredible sense of artistry. Thank I you. mean, that Thank that you. is, to, you know, so if you take a look at the video, you're going to see Von Hot Rod pinstriping my battery case because yeah. unfortunately it was the only thing I had that That's was fine. flat. Yes. But I mean, just the steady hand, how you. quick you did it. I mean, it's just amazing. And it comes out just stunning. Thank you. I, I mean, I that. can't, I mean, there's of, not, there are not a lot of people. Okay, let me put it this way. There are not a lot of Michelangelo's in the world. Okay. There are not a lot of Von Hot Rods in the world that That's can do say. what you do. That takes true artistry. That's, you know, and, and you, you do custom work. Yes. For other companies that call you and say, oh, I got a customer's car. Right. You know, this is what you're paying for. Exactly. You, you know, you know, I had a customer recently. He called me. I went out to his garage to stripe his car. 
and he picked the colors and he said, what are you going to do? And I said, I, I really don't know. I got to fill the car, see what it's like. Yeah. And it's about enhancing your car. It's not a billboard for me in advertising. You'll tell people who did it and stuff like that. You're paying for, you know, my reputation. So I start striping his car. He's smoking a cigarette. He's pacing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You got, he's got a $120,000 car and I'm actually painting on it with a brush. And so he's a little nervous. As I'm painting, I could see his shadow behind me and he's slowing down. He's getting slower and slower and relaxing. And finally he goes, wow, okay, I get it. I understand. And it, I finished the car. It literally took me about an hour. And he goes, okay, wait a minute. I paid you this much for an hour's work. And I said, no, no, no. You paid me for 30 years of experience, experience. to get to this point. That's, right. That's what you're paying for. Exactly. You're paying for, you know, freehand, old school, you know, thought process, fit, fit, you know, doing the car right, adding to the car, not taking away. Yep. And I always say less is more. You know, I can do a design yep. from technically the roof to the bumper, yep. but that's not going to enhance the car. That's just going to be a billboard for me. And that's not what it's about. It's about making that car one step higher than the next guy. You know, making it, it's kind of like tattooing your car. That's the best right. way. Yeah. Giving it a personality. A yeah. You know, that, I mean, just, just the way you describe that, I mean, that's just an artist. Looking at you, you know, walking in, you know, got to yeah. feel the car, got to spend a little time with it. Yeah. But the fact that you do this freehand, no sketches on the car, you know, you're not sitting down pre-drawing yeah. everything. Yeah. You're just feeling the car. Yeah. And like I said, there's not many Michelangelos and there's not many Von Hot Rods. I so appreciate those are kind words. You well, know, your, proof, your proof is in the pudding. Very grateful you for know. it's a guy given talent I can't explain. I, I, we partnered with Speed Dog here. We're standing in front of his booth. We did a, a limited series on shift knobs and we're about to come out with a second series next year. So it, it's, it's fun to partner with different companies. And, and take pinstriping to a different, different level. level. Yeah. yeah. Then like I we were talking earlier and I said women are my biggest clients. KitchenAid mixers are like right now the hot item right before Christmas. Husbands are buying them and they're bringing them over to us. And, you know, we're, we're pinstriping these KitchenAid mixers to match their kitchen. Usually when we do a, a hot rod and I pinstripe the guy's car, yeah. the wife walks out and says, well, can I do a pair of shoes to match the car? And how about a purse? <laughs> and so that's usually what happens. Uh, we get busy for weddings and proms. Uh, we'll start striping shoes, uh, gloves. Uh, we'll flame or pinstripe some gloves for girls. And you know, it's it's amazing to me because we were talking a little bit earlier. Yes. You know, when you do celebrity appearances, yes, people will do kind of like I did. They'll bring an item, except Correct. for I didn't bring the right item, but it was <laughs> flat, right, and it worked. Yes. Um, but what is the? I mean, you ought to, you do everything. I mean, yes. you said person. What is the maybe one of the oddest things you've ever had to pinstripe? It's really crazy because. I get that question all the time, and people do bring glove box doors, air cleaner lids, hop caps, and so on yep. and so forth. But the weirdest thing was uh, a few years ago, a guy took a bedpan, painted it candy tangerine, and I pinstriped a bedpan. I thought, well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Who's going to want to display a, a bedpan? Right. So I striped that, and that was kind of fun. Scottsdale, Arizona, at a good guy's event. Yeah. A guy walks out, has sunglasses on, thinks he's kind of cool, says, hey, would you strike something weird? And I said, sure, as long as it's not a weird body part, I'm okay right. with it. He goes, would you strike a glass eye? <laughs> oh, and I said, yes, yeah, as long as it's not in your head. Yeah. He lifts up his glasses and pops out his glass oh, eye. Geez. So I pinstripe a 50 style design on his glass eye. So oh, that's oh the my weirdest God. thing I have pinstriped. I mean, to be able to do all that, I, yeah. mean, that's, I mean, again, it's just true, truly an, yeah, art, and an, you an see artist's my, vision. My I mean, lines are pretty thin. They are. So. Striping a glass eye with a 50s design just, you know, it put it over the top. It was super it cool. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to take pictures and, you know. And it's I, always, I, it's I, always cool. fun as an artist to, to have that new challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and do something and realize it works. I get a know? lot of people here, and you saw this little hot rod keychain here, this yeah. little 36. Yep. I literally put a pin track design on the hood of that. You know, people come up, oh, so you're the, you know, tiny. you're the tiny, can you, can you stripe this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, of course I can, you know. <laughs> I go, if I can stripe a fingernail, a little teenager's fingernail for prom, I can stripe the hood of a 36. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And you can, you can, here, I'll do this to scale. Look at my finger. That's how tiny that is. That is, it so, is small. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But, so, you know, it's a lot of fun. I love the customers, um, have been really good to me. Uh, we got a really good fan base and they've been really, really good. You know, it's, it's cause of them as where I am today. It's, and they wake up one day and say, Oh, look at me. I'm Von Hot Red. It has nothing to do with that. It's the customers, it's the fans, it's people asking, 
hey, can you do this? Hey, can we have a design on our T-shirt? Hey, can you do an art piece for my wife? Right. That's what I like. I love that. I love doing stuff for other people. Uh, we do a lot for charities. We do an event for Teen Challenge, which is a rehab center mm -hmm. for teens. We raise money for them. And, and last year, we, I do, I'm an auctioneer, so I did a live auction. Okay. And I made You're a man a, of many, many hidden talents. Thank you. I made a pedal car, and I turned it into a, a gasser, turned that into a coffee table, and auctioned <laughs> that off for charity. And, we ended up raising it. quite a bit of money for that. I love it. It's always good to give back, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's Again, it. like I said, it's it's them that have, you know, built me. I hate to say it that. Giving I, don't, back. I don't want it to be a brag of money, but it's it's what the fans or the customers have done. And I'm very grateful that they've given me this platform, and I never, never want to waste it. My problem yeah. is that I can't say no. <laughs> yeah, the, well. Yeah, that's the craziest it's thing. It's always fun to have that challenge, isn't it, yeah, to, to do exactly. something different. So, you know, if, if somebody wanted to look up more information on you, Absolutely. What, where would they go? You can jump on social media. Yep. You know, everything is at Von Hot Rod. There you go. Easy to, easy to catch. You can Google it. Everything's at Von Hot Rod. I'm easy to find. All my secrets are open. Send me a message. Send me an email, whatever you want. I'll get to it. I'll answer you as best I can and kind of help you out. And, I, and, and someone watching this video said, wow, I'd like him to pinstripe my car. Oh, absolutely. Is that the same way they go? Oh, out? yeah, yeah. Just message me because I travel so much. So it's, you do. You have a very yeah. busy schedule. You have I a do. lot of appearances very to tight. make. Yes. But so, uh, I think, I, I think you said message. right now it's about an eight-month wait to get you to yeah, do something. It is. You know what's crazy is the pandemic. When it hit, everything shut. We lost all our bookings because, you know, events right. stopped. So I called everybody up and said, hey, if your cars are ready, I can uh, stripe your cars, get caught up. Yep. Literally in two months, I caught everything up on merchandising, on pinstriping cars and items for people. And I thought, okay, uh, while well, we're done, now what do I do? <laughs> I'm, I'm done, caught yeah. up. So I actually got to take my first vacation in 25 years. Me wow. and the wife jumped on, you know, it's a pandemic. Me yep. and my wife jumped on a plane. We actually showed up at the airport with our luggage and went to the counter and said, what's the first plane out of here? And the lady kind of looks at us and she goes, I go, where's it gone? And I go, literally the first plane. She goes, Tennessee, Nashville. I said, put us on the plane. So we took off to Nashville and my wife's not fly by the seat of your pants. So we flew to Nashville. Oh, we get off the plane and she's all, well, what are we going to do now? I go, well, we got to rent a car and find a place to stay. And we had the most fun with no agenda. I didn't have to work, didn't have to make appearances. Yeah. And we had a blast. Just spent a week. Touring all over Tennessee, started in Nashville, ended up in Chattanooga, jumped on a plane and came home. We had a great time because I didn't have to work. It's so. nice to take those breaks. It, it was. It, it was, was really nice. great. What, what, what a great use for the COVID time. I know. Was, there was like literally five of us was on and the And you had everything, so you had nothing on your mind because everything was yeah. taken care yeah, of. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. So I got to have some downtime. Well, so. Von Hotrod, thank you so much for You're spending welcome. your time thank with you. us today thank you. and sharing your talent with, with your fans and, and awesome. the, you know, the people that want to get the pinstripe. Thanks for doing my phone. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget, tune in. Thanks for watching, folks.